Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over kayak fishing knives or knives that have been marketed to kayak fishermen that you can find on Amazon Prime. And we're hoping these knives will work with our kayak fishing life vest or PFDs, but today we're going to find out. All of these knives can be found on Amazon Prime and I will have a link in the description below. So the current PFD I'm using is the Mustang Survival this is a pretty cool life jacket, but today we're not talking about life jackets. We're talking about the knives that hopefully will attach to these life jackets. So a knife that I've been using for a very long time is the NRS Copilot. As you can see, uh, this is a little bit rusty and it's not due to the NRS knife. Um, this is due to neglect on my end. I've just been so busy going on a bunch of trips. I just used this knife to fillet a redfish in Louisiana on my kayak and cook it. But I just wanna show you kind of where we're starting. This is the knife I've been using for probably four years now. This is the NRS, this is the Copilot, and notice this knife has a blunt tip. The first thing I wanna note, a lot of people say, hey, why do you use a knife that doesn't have a pointy tip? There's a bunch of reasons, but I'm gonna give you a reason that I've come across a lot, and I've actually had to use it for this very reason. If you'll notice, this has a blunt tip, meaning it's not pointy. And in case of emergency, what's really cool about knives that have a blunt tip and also a knife that isn't sharp on one side, you can notice the blade is on this side serrated and then a normal blade. What's nice is you can actually use this to rescue yourself without cutting yourself. So what does that look like? Let's imagine you got you know some rope tied around you or you fell off your kayak and you've gotten somehow your anchor line tied around or you're just in a crazy emergency that you really can't make up or explain. What you can do is you can get this knife between you and whatever's tangling you up. You can turn the knife and then you can cut away. So meaning you're not gonna actually cut yourself. If this was sharp on both sides, you would most likely cut yourself in trying to do some sort of self rescue or rescue somebody else. And so I wanted to say that up front. if we come across a knife that is you know, a blunt tip and doesn't have an edge on it, that's the reason why and it's for that very reason that i love the nrs knife it has a bunch of different functions on this one um, it's got a bottle opener it is one piece of metal which is nice this one is coated here i have another one if i can find it found it i have another one right here i've been using this one for a long time as well and you can see this thing has held up great and i just want to say you see this little surface rust that's on here this is going to knock right off actually i could probably let me see wash it right off you know um but this will come right off and i will show you guys a little trick to doing that with your knives here at the end of the video Alrighty, so this is the nrs knife and we're going to open up some other knives that you can find on amazon prime so far this is one of my favorite knives and i can't yet until I open up the rest of these packages, really see myself using a knife that's not this one. So a knife that caught my interest that I found on Amazon Prime is this one, this Akua knife by Gear Aid. It also has a blunt tip and it says it right here on the package. Um, a few things, it says it has a sheath lock, it's a full tang, blunt tip. What else, what else? Quick thumb release, durable webbing mounts, quick drain sheath, bottle opener, paracord slot, full tang, we already said that, line cutter, quick rip serrated edge and a pry tip they market that as a pry tip really it's just a blunt tip so let's go ahead and open this one up and see what we're working with here okay so here's the knife first impressions it's not too heavy it is nice i mean it fits in the hand nice you know you're not going to get a super meaty big handle what i do like about the nrs right here is you know you can get it does fit pretty wide in your hand which is nice and also since it's not sharp on this side you really have a great place for your thumb so i'm trying to see if i get kind of that same feeling in this knife it's a little skinny i will say it is a little skinny but it's light it's nice let's see how it fits in the sheath the sheath feels a little a little bit cheaper maybe than this plastic here. And now I just wanna say, I'm not trying to sell NRS knives here. This is just kind of the standard, you know, this is this is top shelf in my opinion. So I wanted to kind of see what these other knives would feel and look like. So I'm trying to figure out this thumb release that it said it had. 
Okay, I see. So if it's on you, if you're wearing it on your vest, the idea is you'll come up from the bottom and thumb release it like that. So that's the deal with this knife. It's like this, boom. Okay, you got a little section of cut line, serrated and sharp. I do like that it has the blunt tip, but what I don't like is that there's a blade on both sides. I really like the idea of only having a blade on one side in case you want to do some sort of skin on self rescue type situations. But hey, that's just me. I've seen it before and had to use it for that before. Um, so that's just my, my preference, but I don't know, maybe I could fall in love with a knife like this. Either way, let's get it on the PFD and see how it goes. So we're going to slide it on. Oh, oh. we're going to slide it on there. These aren't as easy as they, as they look sometimes these little PFD squares. Okay. There we go. Okay. It's on there. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of nice on there. It seems nice. I mean, I'm sure it'll cut. We're not doing cutting tests and stuff like that. We're just trying to get a feel for it. The plastic seems a little cheap, but I mean, I think it'll hold up just fine. Okay, that's that. We've got another knife here that was on Amazon marketed to kayak fishing. This is the B.C. Knife. The BC Knife it says quality 420 stainless steel, three inch blade with serrations, molded nylon grip for comfort. Okay. We're gonna open this one up. The first thing it says is, if it's necessary to rinse blade with fresh water and dry it, yada, yada, yada. Okay, that should be said. Let me say that for all knives. The NRS knife, this knife, all knives we look at, you wanna rinse it off because no matter what you do, um, it will develop some rust. And guys, I have a trick for that, a really nice one. Like this one, this is gonna come off so, so, so easy. I'm not so sure that if this one right here, just looking at it, started to rust, that it would come off as easy. So yeah, you definitely wanna wanna rinse this. I mean, this, this knife has been sitting on my life jacket, unrinsed, untouched for like a month, and uh, that's what happened to it. We'll fix that later. Okay, let's look at this one. This is the BC knife. Rinse your knives, that should be a given. But this one, you just press with your thumb, boom, okay. I'm trying to imagine if this is on my life jacket, if I can really press it with my thumb, it might be more of a, this kind of press here, which I'm not sure I like that too much. It's easy to press it from the front, but I'm not sure, maybe if you wear it to the side like that, it's easy to kind of come in there. Right off the bat, I'm not too sure I like the thumb release like, like on the front like that. Because you kind of have to bend your, you kind of have to bend your wrist to do it. You know what I'm saying? To hit it, like even your left hand. If your right hand were to come at it, you really got to bend your wrist. I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, this one has two screws in the back. So you can unscrew this. You can put it there. And then you could kind of like really bend your life jacket and try and try and screw it back together. I'm not, I'm not convinced that's the best design and this feels really, really cheap. I honestly feel like I'm going to break this in like two seconds. I'm not sure this knife is even worth really looking at. It's called the, it's called a diver's knife. I mean, the blade seems fine, but I can tell you guys, this is going to be a very cheap knife that you're not going to like that will probably break on you. It feels very cheap. The plastic's cheap made in Taiwan. This is really cheap. I can only imagine the knife being out and you putting a little bit of pressure on that thumb release here. It will break. Look how, look how cheap this thing is. So that's that. I don't think we should even go any further into this knife because I think this knife is kind of trash. Okay. That's that. I don't like the design on how you screw it on because it, I mean, how are you supposed to get a screwdriver? I guess maybe from the top, if you were to do it, that's fine. Just bend it back and uh, get you a little screwdriver. So it's not impossible. I just am not sure it's the best design. Other than that, it just feels really cheap. This is not gonna be a knife that I even mess with too much or really recommend. We're gonna put that one to the side. Another knife that's recommended um, to kayak fishermen on Amazon Prime is this Gerber knife. Now I've always liked Gerber in the past. This one, you had to really do some scrolling to get to and they actually market this one two kayak fishermen this cross river is what comes up first but if you do a little bit of digging this one also comes up all right so this one doesn't seem to have 
any sort of um like release mechanism let me see there's instructions in there oh there's actually something in there hang on sorry my camera fell down i'm trying to figure out exactly what this is these two little things that okay so this pops into here Oof. these pop into here for what though i don't really want to pop them in here maybe you guys can there's no instructions maybe you can tell me what these are for but i don't want to put them in because they seem kind of hard to get out but i do like this you see this right here do you see this lip right here this ensures that when this goes in the life vest it's going to take a lot of effort to get it out and so i like that okay let's look at the knife itself this knife is nice and slick made in the usa and here's something that i like look blade on only one side nice little area for some thumb grip right there it feels like a little coated i'm not exactly sure if that's coated in anything or if it's just like super buffed and shine but it feels nice okay fits in the hand eh it's okay a one through ten maybe i give it like a five on fitting in the hand like comfortably compared to something like this like this a wrong way this feels really nice this is uh this is not bad this is okay but i do like this okay self-rescue you can slide it in turn it boom no one's getting cut no one's getting hurt feels sharp now the only thing about this knife it's serrated the entire way it's not half serrated and just half you know a regular blade there except for the very very tip you have a little bit of a blade in case you need to do some like precision cutting I don't know for what you would need only that amount of small blade for maybe just like i really can't come up with an idea right now but this let's see if this actually fits on here because it looks a little thick and wide in this area okay there we go we are in there boom okay so that's that. That actually looks pretty good on there. Just a regular black knife. The sheath is on there very well. You gotta have some pressure to pull this knife out. So, so far I'm thinking this Gerber right here is one of our better options that we've looked at. I like this one. This is nice. I think this is also a good option. So far, this is not an option. Do not buy this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and look at the Gerber Cross River Saltwater Fixed Blade Knife and Sheath. Now, I think this knife, just looking at it, is kind of more for like a side carry kind of thing, but they do market this, this PFD clip right here as something that can mount to a, um, a life vest. So it says blunt tip, fine edge, flat top serrations, lanyard hole, uh, ambidextrous trigger lock, belt clip, sheath, full tang, lanyard hole to secure, PFD clip, and vent that's everything on here and again right now it has a lot of things that i like when it comes to a kayak fishing pfd knife it has a blunt tip only a blade on one side and this side is clear of a blade so we're going to open this up and we're going to see how this feels and see what this is all about so here's the knife this is a nice knife it feels nice feels nice in the hand you know i'm not an expensive guy i like nice things but things are tools to me you know i i try to find a good balance between quality and uh price point of course as i think most most people do and so you know we can go out and get you know three four five hundred dollar knives but i mean we're just fishing guys so i'm not too sure but i'm kind of looking at these knives and i pick them all because they have a decent price point and I'm not quite convinced this is for PFD, almost like a side carry, but right now as it sits in my hand, I do like it, and it is a knife that it would be nice to have this knife with me. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in, the sheath here, and it does have a release, oops, does have a release. So either way you turn the knife, it can be released, which is nice, which I will most likely have it like this, on my life jacket so i can come in with my right hand release it and use it so let's get it mounted to a pfd and just see how it looks it 
So that is pretty solid on there. It's gonna take some effort to actually release this knife. Boom. So as you can see, that's on there pretty good. You're gonna have to really use some effort. <laughs> this is not gonna be fun to take off, just like none of them are. And to be honest, none of these are actually fun to take off PFDs. I mean, once they're on there, you gotta use some thinking and use some even like a butter knife or something to like get between. Anyways, you'll, you'll know. If you know, you know. We're gonna go ahead and put the knife back in. Knife is in there, pretty secure. Take it out, boom. I like that. My final thoughts are, I still love this. I still love these knives right here. These are, that was not in all the way. Let's put that in all the way. There we go. I love these NRS Copilot knives. I do like this Gerber knife. One thing I can foresee maybe having an issue on this is this lock right here may be giving out. I mean, it's, it's not a super expensive knife, so I could see that and it not working with the sheath one day. Maybe, I don't know. So you have to take that into consideration if you believe in this little spring. So we'll see. I do like this. I like the Gerber. This is a good budget knife. You know, you don't need something super expensive. It works. It has all of the qualities. All of these knives right here. Sorry, I'm not even showing you. All of these knives right here have something I really like. They have the blunt tip. Boom, boom, blunt tip. A blade on one side and they share serration and you know your normal blade right there. That's something I really like. Moving on, I think this is a good option. I mean, it's a, it's a decent option. Is it better than this knife? No. Is it almost on par with this knife? Yes, except I don't like the two-sided blade, how they have it like that. So that's the only drawback for me. I think they're both in the same area. So you'll have to make that decision. This knife is absolute trash, in my opinion. I say don't waste your time on this knife. Now, I know early in the, earlier in this video, I said something about how to fix rust on knives because guys, even the most expensive knife will develop rust if you're using it on salt water. I'm gonna make a whole video on this stuff, but it's called Metal Rescue Rust Bath, uh, Rust Remover Bath, and this is a gallon. You can find this stuff at Home Depot, at Lowe's, um, really that's all I know of because I, I haven't checked it anywhere else. But this stuff is pretty simple to use. This knife right here, I've had for four and a half years, something like that. And this, I have neglected this knife like crazy uh, over the years. This knife a few days ago was completely brown because it was rusted out and left outside in rain. I put this stuff in a bath of this for 48 hours and it came out like this. No rust whatsoever. The reason why you see these scratches is because I was scratch, I, the first time I ever tried to clean it, I was trying to scratch the rust off and that's what did that. But you let a knife sit in this bath right here for 24, 48 hours, it will come out with no rust at all. And that's my plan. I'll only have to put this knife in there for about 30 minutes and it will come out perfect. So I always keep a bucket of this stuff, an actual bucket. I do put it in a bucket and just throw things in there around because it's rather than throwing, you know, tools away, just buy, buy a thing of this. You know, you're always around the salt water using it. So invest in this. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you guys. And if you did like this knife or have this knife, it's nothing personal. I'm just saying can, compared to these other knives, I don't recommend this knife. I can just tell. I can feel it, it's cheap, don't waste your time. You're gonna not like it, but if you have it, hey, it's okay, let me know in the comments below if it's lasted a long time for you or if you love it, maybe you love it, I have no idea. Anyways guys, if there's any other types of videos that you wanna see or me review products on Amazon, leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure to get it done for you guys. Thanks, see you later.